In this video, we're going to uh, show how to differentiate the exponential function. Um, differentiating the exponential function is uh, governed by uh, this uh, rule here. So this rule says the derivative of e to a function uh, u of x is given by the same function e to the power u, then times the derivative of u so um, this um, uh, rule is saying to differentiate u uh, or rather to differentiate e all we need to do is to find the derivative of the exponent so this here is uh, the derivative of the exponent now um, and then the rest of uh, the expression is just uh, the original function that we started off with. Okay, so let's look at uh, some examples. Okay, so uh, imagine we need to differentiate uh, uh, these functions given here. Um, so our rule is saying the derivative of the exponential function is obtained by uh, writing the same function and then multiplying it by the derivative of the exponent. So in part A, we have got uh, e to the x. So our exponent this time is x. So the derivative is going to be e to the x. Then derivative of x is 1. So that tells us that uh, the derivative of e to the x is going to be uh, e to the x. So this is the only function which is such that its derivative uh, is the same as the original function. Okay, uh, in part b, we have got y equal to e to the minus 4x. This time, the exponent is minus 4x. The derivative of minus 4x is negative 4. So this is going to be negative 4 times e to the minus 4x is going to be our derivative. Um, in uh, C, we have got uh, f of t equal to e to the 1 minus t squared. The exponent this time is uh, 1 minus t squared. So the derivative of 1 minus t squared, let's just work it out on this side here, 1 minus t squared prime, the derivative of 1 is 0, and the derivative of minus t squared is minus 2t. So this is telling us that uh, uh, df dt is going to be negative 2t times e to the power 1 minus t squared. So that is c. And then in d, we have got uh, g of p equal to p times e to the power 2p. The first thing we notice here is that uh, this function is a product. So we are going to use the product rule. We're going to let this first function be u and this second function be v. So if uh, we let u be p, then u prime is just going to be 1. We're differentiating with respect to p this time. Then uh, v is going to be e to the power to p. v prime is going to be e to the power to p times the derivative of this. Derivative of 2p is 2. 
um, and so then we uh, plug these into the um, into the product rule so g prime gonna be u prime v plus u v prime uh, u prime is one from here v is e to the 2p plus u is p v prime is 2e to the 2p then at this point what we're going to notice is that uh, e to the 2p is a common factor so we're going to factorize that so in the brackets we're going to have 1 plus 2p e to the 2p and so that is our final uh, expression then uh, in e we have got uh, r of t equals to t squared minus 1 e to the power t squared again we have uh, a product here the function which is a product so we're going to let this be u i'm going to make that to be v so u is a t squared minus 1 u prime it's going to be the derivative of that which is 2t v is e to the t squared so v prime the derivative of t squared is 2t so it's going to be 2t e to the 2 e to the t squared so um, again uh, our prime then going to be u prime of v plus u v prime by the product rule u prime is 2t v is e to the t squared then u is t squared minus 1 uh, v prime is 2te to the t squared um, again we are going to factor out the e to the t squared which is common to all the terms so from the first term which is going to have 2t from the second term we're going to have 2t times t squared minus 1 then if we simplify the brackets here remove the brackets we're going to have 2t plus 2t cubed minus 2t so this thing is going to work out 2t, 2t cubed e to the t squared so that is the derivative uh, which we've left in its uh, simplest form then in f we have got uh, g of mu just uh, confirm it's actually t so in f we have got t of mu equal to e to the negative mu over 1 minus e to the power mu this time we have got a quotient um, so we're going to use the quotient rule in the quotient rule the numerator is made to be u and the denominator is made to be v so we're going to let u be e to the minus mu then u prime is going to be the derivative of this derivative of this is going to be the same thing times the derivative of the numerator uh, the exponent the exponent is uh, minus mu so the derivative of that is going to be negative one v is going to be the denominator 1 minus e to the power mu so v prime is going to be the derivative 
uh, of uh, this expression here derivative of one is zero derivative of e to the mu is just e to the mu so that's going to be e to the mu v so that means the derivative of t with respect to mu using the caution rule it's going to be u prime v minus u v prime all divided by v squared okay then uh, substituting into this it's going to give us the following u prime is negative e to the negative mu v is 1 minus e to the mu and then take away u is e to the negative mu v prime is negative e to the power mu and then this is going to be divided by 1 minus e to the mu all squared that denominator uh, we're just going to leave it as it is uh, the numerator we're going to remove the brackets and see if there are any like terms so starting with uh, 1 times negative e to the mu which is going to give us negative e to the negative mu then um, between this term and this term the negative the two negatives are going to multiply to a positive then e to the negative mu times e to the mu it's going to be e to the power zero because we add them and then again here uh, these two negatives are going to multiply to give a positive that is going to be e to the zero as well the denominator we just leave it as it is e to the zero is uh, one so here i've got one plus one so that's two so this is going to give us two minus e to the negative new all divided by 1 minus e to the mu all squared so that is going to be the final expression of the derivative of part f right um so yeah thank you for visiting our channel thank you for watching this uh, hopefully it's been useful please do subscribe uh, at the bottom there and uh, like our video um, right now I'm going to give you an opportunity uh, to um, see if you understand this properly. Um, so I'm going to give you a few exercises which we, um, we suggest that uh, you pause the video, try them. And then when you play the video, then you can compare your answers with uh, ours. Okay. All right, so please uh, do have a go at uh, these uh, exercises in G. We've got 2x plus e to the minus 2x. In H, we have got 1 over 8 to the power x squared all cubed. Uh, in I, we have got 1 minus e to the minus 2t all squared. In J, we've got x squared minus x e to the x squared. And uh, in K, we've got e to the 2p divided by e to the 2p minus e to the minus 2p so yes please do uh, have a go at these ones pause the video and then when you press play uh, you will be able to see our answers okay we're now going to scroll down to uh, our answers so for g we've got 2x plus e to the minus 2x um, the derivative of 2x is just 2. This one, um, we ask the question, what is the derivative of minus 2x? And that's just minus 2. So multiply this by minus 2. So that's going to be our derivative there. And then for the next one, um, this one looks complicated, but... Uh, we use the um, properties of uh, exponents to simplify it. So if you remove the brackets, it's going to be 1 over e to the 
the powers we multiply so it's going to be 3x squared um, and then we can take this into the numerator and the power becomes negative and then we can just differentiate this now derivative of negative 3x squared is negative 6x and then times the original function um, similarly here we can expand this so if we expand this the first term is going to be 1 second term is going to be 2 times this term times this term which gives us minus 2e to the minus 2t the last term is plus this term squared which is e to the minus 4t and then the derivative of 1 is 0 derivative of this we're going to multiply by the derivative of minus 2t which is minus 2 and here we're going to multiply by derivative of minus 4t which is minus 4 and then um, tidying this up uh, we get uh, that expression alternatively we could, could use the chain rule so in the chain rule we don't have to expand this we just uh, differentiate the power so we multiply by 2 we subtract 1 to get um, one there we keep this exactly as it is then we multiply by the derivative of this whereby we're going to get zero here then this is going to be negative two times the same thing um, and then if we tidy this up we get uh, that which uh, is the same as this if you factor out 4e to the minus 2t for j we have got a product so we're going to let u be x squared minus x and u prime becomes 2x minus 1 the second term is going to be v and its derivative is 2x e to the x squared uh, and then we plug these into the formula for the product rule e to the x squared is common so we factor it out and then we remove brackets here we finally get 2x cubed minus 2x squared plus 2x minus 1 all times e to the x squared for k we have got a quotient so we're going to use the quotient rule u is e to the 2p so u prime is going to be 2 times e to the 2p where this 2 is the derivative of that exponent uh, v is e to the 2p minus e to the minus 2p so v prime is going to be that this becomes plus because we want to multiply by negative 2 and then we plug these into the formula for the quotient rule and simplify the numerator e to the 2p times e to the 2p is 4 e to the 4p e to the 2p times e to the minus 2p is e to the zero similarly this side we're going to get these terms and then you can see that um, that e to the zero term is going to cancel out um, just uh, one moment all right apologies there actually that e to the zero term doesn't cancel out because uh, there's a typo here that that should be plus because we're taking it from there so that means uh, this term here is going to be negative the terms that cancel out are actually these two terms here and uh, so that means this is going to work out to uh, just negative 4 in the numerator and that is our final expression again again thanks for watching please do subscribe and uh, comment uh, at the bottom if you want us to do in a particular topic and share with uh, uh, friends that you know will need this type of material thank you